Welcome to general session. We are, um, it is July 26th, hard to believe. And we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Commissioner Brooks. And before you start, I apologize for being late. I had a family member in surgery. I didn't know Commissioner O'Grady wouldn't be here today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we need the approval of minutes from July 19, 2016 general session. I'll move for the approval of those minutes. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Brown. Aye. The minutes have been approved. Great. The engineer. Resolution number 536-16. Resolution authorizing County Engineer Dean C. Ringel to submit applications and execute project agreements on behalf of Franklin County for Ohio Public Works Commission funding of road and bridge projects. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. My name is Cornell Robertson, representing County Engineer Dean Ringel. As stated, this resolution will give the County Engineer authorization to submit for OPWC, Ohio Public Works Commission, grant applications for likely three projects we're looking at. The first is Allen Creek Drive at Roar Road in Hamilton Township. The second is Roar Road at State Route 317 in Madison Township. And the third is Smothers Road at Red Bank Road and Shot Road in Blendon and Plain Townships. Great. Move for approval of Resolution 536-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 536-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 537-16, establishing altering and widening of Hendron Road from Groveport Road, Main Street, to Cherry Blossom Drive, Madison Township, Franklin County, Ohio, viewed engineer to, plan, to file plans as necessary. Commissioners, this capital improvement project is in the southeast part of the county in Madison Township. It is a coordinated project with the city of Groveport and this resolution will allow us to move forward and enter into agreements for construction. Great. Move for passage of resolution 537-16. I'll second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 537-16 has been adopted. Okay. We now have a public hearing and um, if you'd like to talk about that public hearing. Okay. Public hearing plans approved for Winchester Pike at Shannon Road, Ebright Road, PS&E. Do we have anybody here? And if you'd like to tell us a little bit about this, then we'll see if we have anybody in the public. Okay. Yes, ma'am. This capital improvement project will install a new traffic signal at that intersection. We'll lengthen the turn lanes We'll add storm sewers, and we will also widen the Winchester Pike Bridge over Black Lake Creek. Anybody like to come forward and speak? Okay. Have you had anybody else at any other hearings or anybody else speak about this project for or against? There is definitely interest in the positive Great. for this project. That Wonderful. is highly congested and you know, can turn into a safety situation. Yeah. And so this will, will be well received, we're confident. Great. Well, hearing no other comments, we'll close the public hearing and go right into the next resolution. Resolution number 538-16, plans approved for the improvement of Winchester Pike at Shannon Road and Ebright Road, Madison Township, Franklin County, Ohio. Yes, basically this resolution, we are asking you to approve and sign the title sheet. That will allow us to schedule the bid opening for construction. Move for passage of Resolution 538-16. I'll second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 538-16 has been adopted. 
Resolution number 539-16, Resolution Awarding Contract and Approving Contract Bond to Double Z Construction Company for the Kinnear Road Improvement Project in the amount of $1,566,000. $462.40. Commissioners, this is a coordinated project also in Clinton Township. We have several funding partners in this job, including Clinton Township, Franklin County, City of Columbus, OSU, CSX Railroad, and Upper Arlington. We held a competitive bid on June 28th. We had four bidders, and Double Z had the lowest and best bid. Great. <coughs> Move for passage of Resolution 539-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Brown. Aye. Resolution number 539-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 540-16, vacation of a portion of an unimproved portion of Shoal Road in Jefferson Township, Franklin County, Ohio, viewed engineer to file report by August 9, 2016. Commissioners, this resolution is the second in a series of three to vacate a portion of Shaw Road right away, which is unimproved, west of Central College Road. Move for passage of Resolution 540-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Brown. Aye. Resolution number 540-16 has been adopted. Thank, Thank you. you. The Sheriff's Department. Actually, it's an office. <laughs> Resolution number 541-16, resolution authorizing a contract with Media Sonar Technologies Incorporated for location-based social media investigation services in the amount of $5,000. Morning, everyone. Dave Masterson, Director of Administration, uh, excuse me, Administrative Services for the Sheriff's Office. Uh, this contract will approve the use of an investigative tool to enhance social media monitoring during large-scale public events with the goal of proactively preventing acts of crime and violence. Uh, pending any questions, I ask approval of this resolution. Move for passage of Resolution 541-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Brown. Aye. Resolution number 541-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 542-16, resolution authorizing the acceptance of an Ohio Drug Law Enforcement Fund Grant for the Franklin County Drug Task Force in the amount of $250,000. Commissioners, this resolution allows us to accept the funding from the Ohio Drug Law Enforcement Fund Grant to enhance the battle against drug possession and trafficking. It's a one-year grant through June 30th of 2017. It's used for overtime during investigations, the purchase of equipment, training, and investigative travel. Any, any questions, I ask approval of this resolution. Quick question there. Um, what kind of um, efforts will be made to uh, interdict uh, on the trafficking side? Um, what levels of um, enforcement will be engaged in? Um, the, uh, that question, I guess, would be better for Chief Miner, but I mean, from the discussion. This is going through his area. Yes, okay. ma'am. I just wondered if we would be trying to reach the, you know, the level where kids are starting to get access to drugs, or are we talking about adult drug activity, or are we talking about inter-county? Should I just talk with him about that, Dave? Uh, that you you can, but I can speak a little bit on that okay. based on your uh, follow-up information. Um, you know, they, this particular grant is used for uh, a lot of the, the major um, drug trafficking, mm -hmm. the, the large scale kind of trafficking from that standpoint. Okay. They do have a uh, short term group that handles local, mm -hmm. you know, street dealers, things like that. In terms of uh, the interdiction with the youth, that's handled more with our community relations, which is based out of patrol right now. And they So none of this will go to that area? Not, not so much. Okay. It's more, more dealing with uh, the actual uh, you know, large-scale trafficking, for the most part, from that standpoint. Okay. And we're, we're engaging other police departments, uh, Groveport, Obets, Upper Arlington, Worthington, as well as the U.S. DEA. So uh, mm -hmm. this is about the sixth or seventh year that we've had this grant. Mm -hmm. So they've got a pretty, uh, they've laid the groundwork pretty well in terms of what they're doing, but just keeps coming, doesn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. yes. Does this deal with meth uh, trafficking or, or heroin or what, what 
Bob, yeah, what the, are we talking about here? The, the biggest, uh, I guess, thing that's in the mainstream right now is the heroin. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're dealing with all types of, of drug activity. Sure. Um, there's some reports that I can send over to you if you'd like so you can That'd see. That'd be great. I know we get the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force report, but I'd love to see exactly you know what we're um, what that trending is right now whether meth is kind of under control is it just heroin you know is it uh, there's some indications uh, the reason I ask questions about youth there's some indications that um, there's some creative activity out there that is targeting very vulnerable kids uh, with some um, interesting stuff you know everything seems to change um, to reach that target group yeah, I'll, I'll pull some uh, quarterly reports that has some of that information That'd in terms great. of the, the drugs that they were able to seize and things like that. And I'll send great. Over Haven't you. heard in a while. Yep. Thank you. I'll move for passage of 542.16. I'll second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 542-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 543-16. Resolution authorizing the mugshot system access agreement with the city of Grove City to allow the Grove City Division of Police to access the Franklin County Sheriff's mugshot system. Commissioners, as mentioned in the resolution title, this approves an agreement with Grove City to access our mugshot system for law enforcement purposes. Uh, they approached us uh, earlier in the spring. We've been working, you know, getting this agreement take, uh, put together to present to you. So pending any questions, I ask approval of this resolution. Move for passage of resolution 543-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 543-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 544-16, resolution authorizing contracts for canned, dry, frozen, and dairy food products for the Franklin County Correctional Facilities in the amount of $1,300,000. Commissioners, this is our biannual uh, contract. It'll go through February 1st, 2017 for the jails uh, to help supply food items for the menu. Uh, the all items of a firm and fixed price through the contract expiration are part of the certified menu. It's competitively bid through county purchasing where the vendors were chosen based on price and delivery capabilities. With no questions asked, approval of this resolution. Move for passage of resolution 544-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 544-16 has been adopted. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Law Library. Resolution number 545-16. Resolution allowing the Law Library to amend an existing three-year contract with West Law for library management arrangement in the amount of $333,330. Commissioners, Angela Baldrain, Director of the Law Library. Um, the first resolution we have is an amendment to an existing three-year contract we signed last year to um, add some additional titles to the contract. Okay, great. Move for passage of resolution 545-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 545-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 546-16. Resolution allowing the law library to enter into a three-year countywide contract with Westlaw in conjunction with the Board of Developmental Disabilities for Franklin County Auditor and the Prosecuting Attorney in the amount of $306,227.04. Thank you. This resolution, um, finally we were able to negotiate a countywide contract with Lexus for the four agencies that were listed. Um, we're asking approval of that three-year contract. Move for passage of Resolution 546-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 546-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 547-16, resolution authorizing a non-general fund supplemental appropriation for continuing operations. Our final resolution then is um, an increase in appropriations in order to pay for previous two resolutions. We will have some additional income coming in to offset this with the three-year contract with Westfall, but we're asking for some extra money to pay for the contracts. Move for passage of Resolution 547-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 547-16 has been adopted. Thank you. Thank you. Human Resources. 
Resolution number 548-16, Resolution Approving Personnel Actions. Good morning, Commissioners. Rob Young, representing Human Resources. I have the following personnel actions this week. Child Support Enforcement Agency, two new hires, one voluntary demotion. Department of Job and Family Services, two new hires, one transfer within the agency, one temporary work level ending, one name change, one leave of absence, and one resignation. Public Facilities Management, one suspension. Pending any questions, I request approval of the resolution. Move for passage of Resolution 548-16. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 548-16 has been adopted. Thank Thanks, you. Rob. Purchasing. Resolution number 549-16, resolution approving purchases for various Franklin County agencies in the amount of $2,106,467.89. Good morning, Commissioners. Megan Ballinier, Assistant Director of Purchasing. Uh, the resolution before you requests your approval of 88 purchase orders. These purchase orders have been pre-certified as to the availability of funds by the County Auditor. Pending any questions, we recommend their approval. Move for passage of Resolution 549-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 549-16 has been adopted. Thank you. Thanks, Megan. Board of Commissioner Resolutions. Resolution number 550-16, resolution authorizing non-general fund appropriation adjustments for 2015 general <laughs> election <laughs> expenses. Uh, good morning, Commissioner. Zach Telerik with the Franklin County Office of Management and Budget. Uh, according to statute, uh, the expenditures for conducting elections in odd number of years are charged to the various entities during the real estate tax settlement in the ensuing uh, fiscal year. Um, based on the election expenses identified by the Board of Elections, uh, this uh, resolution will reconcile the appropriations before the second half settlement. Uh, this is due to the real estate tax revenue being recorded at the gross amount with the various fees uh, charged as an expenditure. Uh, pending any questions, would ask your approval of this resolution. Move for passage of Resolution 550-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 550-16 has been adopted. Resolution number 551-16, resolution authorizing an application to the Franklin County Court of Common Pleas for employment of legal counsel for assisting the prosecuting attorney in a construction dispute relating to two sanitary sewer projects. Good morning, Commissioners. Chris Long, Deputy County Administrator. This resolution authorizes the prosecuting attorney to apply to the Court of Common Pleas for the approval to engage legal counsel to assist the prosecutor uh, relating to the Brown Road and Moneyback Sanitary Engineering dispute. This will be the first of uh, uh, two resolutions, the second uh, hopefully to come before you in uh, one or two weeks to actually engage uh, Bricker and Eckler, the two attorneys, and uh, um, in particular are Jack Rosati and Douglas Shevelo with Bricker and Eckler. Pending any questions, would recommend your approval. Did you uh, personally interview these attorneys? Uh, I did not, but Mr. Sulis did, who is here, if you can speak to that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did, Commissioner. Were there any other counsel uh, interviewed or requested? Were there kind of quotes or discussions with any other firms? Uh, we, we discussed internally. There were other attorneys, as we had discussed in the executive session, uh, that were considered. Um, given uh, Bricker and Eckler, specifically Jack Rosati uh, and Doug Shevlo's experience with dealing with IFIC and dealing with these complex uh, construction matters, we felt that they were the best suited in order to assist us in this. So they've had direct experience with uh, the uh, uh, with the surety company. It, yeah, the with surety, the surety in right. question, uh, direct experience and successful experience. Okay, which I think is really important in this case. It, it is. I think I had a conflict. I wasn't in that executive session. Um, I, I had it, a conflict. I, you might be correct. I, I, I don't recall yeah, specifically. I did. So thank you for sharing that. Sure. All right. I'll move for passage of Resolution 551-16. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Aye. Resolution number 551-16 has been adopted. Thank you. Do we have any journalization? There are not any. Well, then we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.